the grill in and go. There it is. You are true. I got my uh, new Iwachu, I <laughs> Iwachu multi oven. <laughs> so, you gotta get half the side of this. All the different modes for cooking with it. So, here you got it on coal with a grate on top. So, you've got coals on top, coals underneath, standing on top of the grate, Dutch oven style. Here it's the grate with the lid turned upside down, flipped upside down for a griddle. Here are your baking pies or something on top of the grate inside the Dutch oven. Coals underneath, coals on top. And then here steaming a fish, water on the bottom, fish on top of the grate, Dutch oven style. It's cool. So we'll see how it works. It's the last one. So. Amazon is not selling these anymore at the moment. It's heavy. It's like 20 pounds or something. Cast iron from Japan. It's Kindy approved. Big for a Dutch oven. Something else in the box. Lid griddle. Handle for the griddle, lid, and such. Let's see how's that gonna work? No, can't quite fit that in. I think you just use this. Just like that. Does that work? Yeah, I guess. A little tool. And Stand, which fits into these little grooves on top of the lid. So you could actually put hot coals on the lid, put that on top of it, cook on that. Look, use it like a little abachi. It's big enough to put a one piece of uh, or two pieces of tongue charcoal, and then you can set that on top of it. Cook that way. Remove the instructions first, or you can steam. Inside, lid on, or you can set this over coals. Set this over coals, Dutch oven style, coals on top. Set this on top of the coals and the top of the lid. Grill something on top of this while you're cooking in the Dutch oven. Or coals that way. Coals underneath, stands it up. It's got a little ridge on the bottom. So it fits nicely, perfectly onto that griddle or stand. Pretty cool. Or you can also just take this off and use the lid, which nestles on top of that. Set this on top of your coals, and then you've got a griddle cook on as well. So a bunch of ways to use it. It's pretty cool. It rocks. I can't wait to try it out. All right. So I wanted to show you guys also that uh, this uh, grill lid is actually big enough to fit ton charcoal. So you can actually fit four pieces in here. So that's how big that, that lid is to give you an idea. And then 
put it'll put it right on top so you could actually have take this with you and you've got a built-in hibachi ready to go pretty cool so this grate is actually pretty tall it sits pretty high so when you put it in here you've got room for a fair amount of water in the bottom of the pot so you can actually cook quite a bit in there even on top of the grate it's still you know, four fin four knuckles deep above the grate so it's pretty good it's a really cool thing about this uh, Iwachu griddle and uh, Dutch oven is that the, uh, the griddle sits so perfectly on top of this with those little nestled spots you could actually set this inside your house and cook on on uh, on that ton charcoal something that's non-smoking and actually use this as a bocce in your house and uh, the little handle that comes with it is perfect to uh, lift off the griddle, holds it securely. I don't know if you can hear that, there's some owls in the background, that's kind of cool. So it's a really nice looking little set and we're going to use this in the oven and on the grill a lot, I can tell. I'll see if I can uh, video this properly, but you can see how the handle holds it. That's an easy way to get it in and out of the pot. Let's set right down inside. Here's the rest of what came in the pot in the box. Uh, instructions. This talks about iron kettles. Tetsuban. And there's a lot of videos online. You can see uh, the factory where these things are made in Japan. It's really cool watching them uh, cast iron um, there at their factory and it also comes with an outdoor recipe booklet unfortunately well it does give you a nice picture on the front and some ideas inside everything's in Japanese so not gonna help me much can't read it back page has a picture of what's included and then there's also a booklet about Iwachu kettles. Trademark is a guarantee of their superior quality. Shows some pictures actually of their casting. And how to use a teapot, which is not what we've got. There's one more of paper in here which tells you how to use and maintain the Iwachu oven. First use a strong flame to heat a small amount of oil. Wipe the oil away from the surface before cooking. Clean the nibe with hot water and Hurt it to dry, leave it to dry, I guess, after cooking. Put a small amount of oil on it after it's dry. Spread the oil around to form a thin film. Store in a dry place. Don't expose it to salt. You will choose a nabe for cooking without oil. So that's cooking with oil. Without oil, you clean it with hot water before and after cooking, wipe it dry. It's pretty much the same instructions you use with any cast iron. So it brings it together, fits together nicely, and it's also got a lip on it so that uh, coals won't fall back into your pot, so that's nice to have. Some cast iron won't do that, and uh, you'll take the lid off and all your coals go straight back into the, uh, into the pot, so this is good. Can't wait to use it. So I had to do a voiceover of this part because the frying grease was just way too loud. But this was my first use of the Iwachu multi-oven and I used it to make some pork chashu and really, uh, really liked that pot. It was really nice on the stovetop so I can't wait to use it outside on coals. Enjoy!